Well, let's talk about today and tomorrow. What are you guys working on there? What are you doing right now that has you really excited and fired up? And also maybe tell our listeners a little bit about how you go about a project. Are most of your projects restorations for clients or are you actually finding cars, restoring them and then selling them? Yeah, we do both. I mean, most of our business is restoration for clientele. Uh, but every now and then I always search the web on a daily basis for mm-hmm. these cars or I have people that are have eyeballs for me across the country and they'll send me a link or call me up and say, Chris, I found there's a guy next door. He's got this bug and he's looking to dump it, you know, but we're currently working on for myself. I picked it up, uh, Late uh, December 15, another 54 oval ragtop. The family called me. They were, out of, they were out of Ohio, and it was in their cellar slash garage for, yeah, over 30 years. And numbers matching unrestored 54 wow. rags. So I'm really looking forward to that one. It's been at the body shop for over a year now. Uh, it, it had more rust than the previous 54, you know, that I was talking about. So it's taken a while to get that back, but... I'm really looking forward to that. And I said to my dad, if I got to keep anything, you know, these these early ragtops are becoming, you know, more and more rare. Right. And if there's something I got to keep, I got to keep something. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, because I keep selling something and, and I've been, I feel bad when they go. Uh, so I said to him, this is a numbers matching car, all bone stock, all original paneling. And I got to keep this one. Uh, we'll see what that one. But the other uh, or is a, the others are clientele projects, mm-hmm. and we're working on a '57 oval ragtop, a '56 ragtop, a '65 old original bug that a guy uh, cut his teeth on in in, uh, in the '80s driving. Uh, so you know we we got a lot of stuff in the works, and yeah. uh, but those. Those ragtops and those original pieces are what's real. They're really special. Well, nice to have in a shop like yours a piece of eye candy for people to come in and go, wow, this is what I could expect. This is a special car. And of course, as an investment grade car like that, it's not going to ever go down in value. So um, Correct. it'll always be worth something. But yeah, you got to keep something for yourself. My goodness. That's it. <laughs> but, but you know, on the flip side, you are a business. You're not just a collector because if you were just a collector, you wouldn't sell anything. So I right. understand you got to you got to flip things and turn things. It's like a uh, a house flipper or anything else. So uh, understood. Well, here's a very introspective question for you, Chris. If you were a car, I kind of know how you're going to answer this, but (laughs) but we'll see. What kind of car would Chris be and why? Yeah, I guess it would be a bug, but just because of the international historical value of Mm -hmm. it, the type of thing where it always gets you where you need to go. The fact that you can, you can fix this car with your home tools, you go, like I said, you go to the gas station and people are coming up to you. Uh, you want attention, you drive a bug. Yeah. The history is there. And then even if you're not a car person, I tell this to people a lot when I go to car shows and you see a lot of these, uh, guys there, they're with their girlfriends and their girlfriends don't really want to be at the car show. And, you know, but when they see a bug, they know exactly what it is. Oh yeah. Yeah. Everybody loves the bug. It's just a universal smile car. If Absolutely. you will. Yeah. That's exactly it. So if it wasn't a bug, maybe an Izetta. <laughs> okay. Well, there's, <laughs> you know? yeah, there's something kind of on the, you know, the, the flip side, a pretty rare car around here, but those are kind of cool too. I guess just being in, uh, you know, coming from an animation background, you know, cartoon background. Oh, yeah. Or has the animated look to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Ah, nice. Okay. Well, I was hoping that's the way you'd answer that question. Uh-huh. You got to be a bug, Chris. Well, ne- up next is the last lap. But before we put the pedal to the metal, let's say thank you to today's Cars Yeah sponsors. Okay, Chris, we are back and we're entering the last lap. And I'm going to fire off a series of questions and ask you to give our listeners some very quick blips of the throttle answers. So here we go. What's the best automotive advice you've ever received other than that homeowners association asking you to leave the neighborhood <laughs> <laughs> um i i guess it would be follow your passion you know it's we live in a world today where we have information at our fingertips yeah. you know so back in the day when we didn't have the internet and you might maybe wanted to get into uh, you know uh, car restoration and maybe you didn't know how to even you know touch a tool or you know how to use a screwdriver or a wrench you know it doesn't have to be that way anymore. Right. Um, I didn't know how to work on cars at all. So, but thank God the information is out there now. And whatever field you're interested in getting into, follow it. You'll learn it. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to make take risks. Make those mistakes and learn and just keep going. Yeah. And I remind the listeners again that Chris has an awesome video series that he puts out there about the cars that he does and so forth. So he's another great resource there for that type of uh, learning experience for those folks out there that want to learn how to turn a wrench or uh, put paint on a car or whatever. Would yep. you share one of your personal habits you believe has helped contribute to your success? Uh, I would say attention to detail. 
Mm. Important. Um, yep, I follow. Uh, I, I pretty much know the Beatle year by year uh, and the different changes that they had throughout mm-hmm. those years. And I know there wasn't a lot to the average person, but year after year, Volkswagen did many things yeah. mid-year that they changed. And I think that goes hand in hand with my other mantra, which is art, making art on wheels. Mm. So I'm an artist and I want to make art on wheels. And, you know, people complain to me sometimes like you over restore the car. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm making, yeah, maybe I do. Okay. Or maybe my paint jobs are much better than they were from factory. And, you know, maybe we'll upgrade the interior to a nicer vintage looking interior. But I have people that are looking to have me build them a bug that they want to look at. They yeah. want a trailer to show. So I had a guy that I built a bug for, and he didn't even want any fluids in the motor. Oh, my car. gosh. He just so, was going to push it around. <laughs> exactly. So it, it's one of those things where, you know, yeah, it's it's an art piece. People will put it in their showroom, and, and they'll look at it. And, and that's what I'm striving for, just, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah, very nice. Well, how about a resource? There's lots of great resources. We just mentioned that. And, of course, your website, which I will post on your Cars Yeah show notes page for people to link to and your videos, of course. But is there another resource that you think our listeners would really enjoy? Uh, I think just still YouTube, Google is your friend. Yeah. Uh, they, they they are so important today. I mean, whenever I'm stuck, I mean, you Google it. It's it's amazing yeah. what comes up yeah. at your fingertips. You know, there's another website, video, uh, VW website called the Samba. Yeah, which is a great, love it. Great Yep, great website for historical facts and, uh, yeah. you know, listings and things. So, uh, yeah. you know, all the years uh, when my kids were younger and I would have questions, my son always would tease me and say, Dad, just Google it. Everything's there. Mm-hmm. And of course, he's graduated from college now. And guess where he's working? Google. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So now I just tease him and say, well, I don't need to Google it anymore. I can just Blake it because his name's Blake. He's oh, like, you- he's like, no, dad, I'm too busy. You just need to Google it. Everything's out there. You'll find everything you need. So, and you do. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's amazing, yep. 